Our social media feeds are filled with the ongoing Olympics and some political turmoil as well. We'll talk about the Olympics later, hopefully in some other video. But let's stick to the chaos happening in Bangladesh because it brings some positive news for India. So let's begin. The political landscape of Bangladesh has taken a dramatic turn with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina reportedly fleeing to India amidst a deepening crisis. The protest broke out in Bangladesh over a quota system for government jobs that descended into violence and drew into a broader challenge into a 15-year rule. But did you know Bangladesh happens to be the second largest exporter of textiles in the world with $45 billion worth of exports amassing a 7.9% market share while India has a mere 3.1%. Moreover, the monthly apparel exports recorded between 3.5 to 3.8 billion for Bangladesh which is more than double of what India is exporting in the same space. In fact, Bangladesh's textile industry is the backbone of its economy as about 80% of the global exports are textile and clothing items. This contributes an impressive 15% to its GDP. What's even more interesting is that it is a major supplier of apparel to global brands like Zara, H&M, Gap, Levi's Jeans, Adidas and so many more. And this unrest and disruption can have far-reaching consequences for not only Bangladesh but also to the big brands who import them. And as you've heard the saying, one's loss is another's gain. And this is exactly what's happening here. With the current crisis intensifying in Bangladesh, the textile sector, which is crucial for its economy, is likely to take a hit. India, with its vast textile industry and manufacturing capabilities, could become a big beneficiary from the Bangladesh crisis. On the back of this, Indian textile shares have surged, with companies like Arvind Limited, Gokuldas Exports, KPR Mills, Wellspun Living Limited, etc., all jumping more than 10%. This is because investors are betting that these companies will gain market share as a result of the turmoil in Bangladesh. But while this crisis might benefit India's garment industry, we should be cautious. Our cotton yarn exporters might actually face challenges. India is a significant export partner for Bangladesh, supplying about 20 to 25 percent of the yarn they need to manufacture garments. Any disruption in Bangladesh could impact our exports to them and in turn our own textile supply chain. On the flip side, if there is any beneficiary in India, it is Tirupur, a small town in Tamil Nadu, which has earned the title of knitwear capital in India due to its dominance in the textile industry. In fact, Tirupur accounted for over 50% of India's textile exports in fiscal year 22, which is remarkable. Now to conclude, the Bangladesh crisis presents both challenges and opportunities for the global textile industry. We shouldn't rush to buy textile shares just because of the situation in Bangladesh. Short-term setbacks in any country may not have an immediate or lasting impact on the long term. But if the unrest continues, it could indeed create opportunities for India's textile sector. Buyers might start looking for alternatives and India could become the next best beneficiary. But if the unrest continues, it could indeed create opportunities for India's textile sector. Buyers might start looking for alternatives and India could become the next best choice. Having said that, this is me, Ralston, signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.